Hey, so in this video we will connect the next touch compact by Behringer to MA2 and we will use show cockpit for that purpose. So if you open show cockpit you can start a new a new project. Let's uh, let's call it X touch ME2 for example. And we start by adding our elements. So external control, MIDI, Behringer, X touch compact. You can check if the input and output devices uh, match in your case and then enable. You will see that the uh, faders will move uh, and they will move because the driver is forcing the X-Touch Compact to the MC mode. And then uh, we need to add an element for ME2. We set up our username and password. If you don't know uh, how to set up username and password and en enable the remotes on ME2 system, please refer to our documentation page on the ME2 driver. This is on our website, so there are frequently asked questions there and one of one of the questions is how to enable the remotes. Now you can just connect. All right, now we have two elements that each one is connecting to one thing and now we need to link them together. We do that by going to mapping and imagine you want to control the executor faders, these faders here on, on ME2 with your faders on the X-Touch. You have here a Grand MA, so all the functions on Grand MA. You can also select the Behringer on the right side. And in case you don't know which fader uh, here on the list corresponds to the physical faders, you can simply move uh, any control actually. This also works for buttons, not only faders. So you can move, um, you can move your faders uh, in case you are uh, asking which button is it you can also click on the buttons and if you click on other buttons it will uh, automatically jump and highlight the button for you if you want to disable this you can also disable it uh, uh, on an option here so um, let's assign the faders uh, one to eight then and let's assign the executor buttons in this case I want the executor button uh, one which is uh, the button number one is the, but the button on the bottom, so our goes uh, to some buttons. Let's use the first row here. I will assign starting on executor one, two, three, four, also eight, because we have eight uh, here to use. You could also map uh, the other button, so button two and three. Uh, I will skip that for the for the purpose of this video. So if you now go back to elements, you will see that the faders are now uh, synced with what's happening uh, on the ME2. So if you move the faders on the on the X touch, you will see that they will also move on the ME2. You can of course uh, move multiple at the same time. You will also notice that the LED feedback is working for our uh, mapped buttons. Uh, they are mapped to these uh, buttons over here, which also have an indicator. So when the indicator goes out, it also goes off in the in the LEDs. And this was a very quick uh, um, tutorial. I I just like to highlight that th there is also um, feedback back to your X touch. So if you change a page or you move an executor via macro or something else on the ME2 it will be synced back to the X-Touch as well. And you could do many, many other things. Uh, I'd like to keep this video uh, very short. If you have a different uh, MIDI device, you can also map it through Show Cockpit. If it's not one of the officially or uh, natively supported um, devices, you can use the generic MIDI driver which allows you to manually map your faders, your buttons, your encoders uh, and then use them as controls to map to MA2 or any other system at the same time. So um, in case you are interested in knowing more about um, Show Cockpit, you can go to our website. You can also follow us on, the f on our Facebook page. And I must say that we have a very, very strong community on Facebook. So we have a group which you can join, share ideas, uh, ask questions, um, ask for features, give suggestions, 
feel free to to join this awesome community that's helping each other configuring their own setups it's it's really amazing to see that so thanks for watching the video and see you on the next one maybe thank you